Hi, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to cover questions on converging lens. They account for about 4 marks in the papers. So if you like them, do like and subscribe. Now let me quickly take you through the concept of converging lens. So this is my little drawing of converging lens here. It's not really super accurate and beautiful. But converging lens means that as light rays go through, it will converge towards one point. So you have actually diverging lens that actually will spread out. So here goes through, you will point towards one source. How does that happen is actually through the process of refraction. Remember in refraction at the end of the topic, they like to show you prisms and how light bends as it passes through a prism. So the lens is actually have a similar concept. If you look at this part of the lens, isn't it like a triangle like this? So if I can break the lens down into regular shapes, you have triangle, rectangle, and a, and a triangle. So from there, you kind of have a sense of how the light rays will move. So if we have a triangle, and we have a light ray that's coming like this, we draw our normal, So as it enters, so this is less dense dense, you will bend towards the normal. So instead of going straight, you will bend down. Then over here, we draw our normal as well. As it leaves, it will bend away from the normal from D, L, D, A. Then so let's then bend away. So instead of following this path, you will bend like this. So you can see that it raise goes in, bend, bend. So double bend, so in a sense it converge downwards. So that's why all the rays will converge. So in a converging lens ray diagram, we kind of simplify it. We just draw one line here. And this line represents the center of the lens. We mark as L. The, this is the principal axis. It's cut at the middle of the lens as well, as well. This center point is called optical center. So when you draw ray diagrams, of converging lens, there are three rules. Rule number one, rays that go through optical center does not bend. So any rays that go through O doesn't bend. Two, rays that are parallel to our principal axis P will cut the focal point F. So this is my F, this is F, this is 2F. So any line that's parallel to principal axis, it will cut towards focal point F. Three, rays that initially go through focal point as it emerges it will be that cut focal point it will emerge to be parallel to principal axis okay let me just show you quickly so if i have an object over here that's between one focal length and two focal length away the first line i draw is line number one tip goes through the optical center doesn't bend so it's a straight line here so it's ray one so technically, for every image, we only need two rays. So the second ray I draw will be the ray that's parallel to the this line. It will cut through the focal point. So where the two rays cut, this will be my image. So let's talk about this image. So because this image are formed by two actual light rays, so first it is real. Secondly, the arrowhead originally is above axis, now it's below axis, so it's inverted. And number three, if you look at the size, this is bigger than this, so it's magnified. If I move the object beyond two focal length away, so this is my O2, where will be my image? So again, I draw two lines. First is from the top that goes through the optical center. It doesn't bend. I1, I2. So this is my I3. So I3, and I need another ray. The other ray actually is the same as this. So in a sense, I just need to extend this. Then it bends, crosses focal point here, so this is my image, I2, so I2 is over here. So I2 is real, is inverted, but instead of being magnified, it is 
diminish smaller so any object that's beyond two focal length away you'll become smaller and smaller you want to have the same size you place it on the two focal length point if the object is within one focal length away over here how will my image be so if i draw the first line that goes through optical center that doesn't bend you realize that this line and our other line over here it doesn't meet so you actually go wider and wider it will actually meet at the other side of the lens so i just have to extend the line it cuts here so this is my image so let's call this o3 so o3 this image is not formed by real light ray so light is not going to come here rebound backwards you can only see if your eye plays here so this image is virtual it's not real cannot be captured on the screen it is upright instead of inverted and it is bigger so it's magnified so this is the image as formed by a magnifying glass so you see the three different type of permutation based on where you place your object will derive very different images so in exams if you want to locate the image all you need is two lines but sometimes they will give you maybe a third line that is like this that cuts through the focal point so let's say if i have this same object cut through the focal point first so this is rule number three so as it cuts through the focal point first as it emerges it will be parallel to the principal axis so this is my ray you see you cut at the same place so hopefully my drawing is good and I can show you that tada, okay, it's quite parallel a little bit off and this will prepare you for the questions that's coming up first question from year 2017 object is placed 25 cm in front of a thin converging lens as shown in the diagram f is the principal focus a b c has been drawn from the top of the object to the lens so here to here two of these two of these rays may be used to locate the position of the image Complete the ray diagram to locate the image. Draw an arrow to represent the image. So what do we need? We need the line, what the ray that goes through the optical center, it doesn't bend, goes right through. And we need a second ray that is parallel to the principal axis. So out of A, B, C, which one I can use? So A, let's say if it's parallel to the principal axis, we know that as it leaves the lens, it's going to cut through the focal point. So this is one that I draw. Okay, do I have one ray that cuts through the optical center? I don't have. But I do have another one that goes through the focal point over here. So whatever line that... So over here, if it's parallel, then you'll go through focal point. If it goes through focal point first, then over when it comes here, it will be parallel. So it's going to be... I'm using A and C. We'll see you just slightly above over here and you draw one line like this so this will be where the two lines cut will be your image i label it as i draw an arrow to represent the image okay sure you can see why don't i, I, think I just draw a solid one easier for you to see okay, so this is your image so i get my two marks Determine the distance from the image to the center of the lens so you measure this length. All right? Magnification given by the formula, so this is easy, I'm not going to go through. Let's look at the next one. 2018 paper. So similar type of question, they have certain rays in front of a thin com converging lens. Diagram is drawn to scale where 1 cm represents 5 cm. Oh, there has a scale here. So you need to take note later when you measure. Image form is inverted. State one other property of this image. So over here. So if it's inverted, it must be real. So over here, you can see that the image is also, is it bigger or smaller? Two squares and this is more than two, it's magnified. So you can either write it's magnified or you can write that it's real. Complete the four rays from the top to show the formation of the image. So we know that 
as it goes through the optical center, it will pass through without bending. So I have this first ray. Second ray, I use the one that is parallel to the principal axis. We know that that ray will hit here. Okay, right. And then every other rays will just converge towards this point. So we just join. Determine the focal length of the lens. So the focal length will be at this point. So we need to measure 1, cent, one cm represents uh, 5 cm. Uh, I have this uh, blown up. So basically you have to measure this length and then you multiply by 5, you get this answer. So it's pretty straightforward as well. So converging lens question, rather simple. So you just have to remember lines that are parallel will cut through focal point. So this is not focal point. Lines that pass through optical center doesn't bend. Okay, and the various characteristics. And I think you should be happy if converging lens comes up.